right. I can bring it down for the boys, man. Yes, sir. Coming with big energy today. You know what yeah. I'm saying? First round of the playoffs is on the fucking way. And if sir. fell playoffs, oh, let's God. get it, nigga. Ain't no time for nobody to be playing, so we're going to get right to this shit, let you know what's going on. Okay? Top C's on upset. You Top C's on upset. Who got bad matchups coming up for them? Hold up, though. Go shit. ahead and pull us up real oh, quick. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. playoff yeah. time, baby. Yeah. You know I can't forget. do this without my drink. <laughs> Play all time mm. for the kids. And grown man time. Ain't no little boy fun season no, no more. No, it's no, real no, shit. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's get Happy it. Happy New Year. All righty. Let's get the business. Let's get the business. Top seeds. Bad matchups coming. They lucky they don't play this week. Because mm. they might be losing this week if they have to. Needed that by some of them. <laughs> for real, for real. Right. So Big MF Potato, you can go yes, ahead and sir. kick us off. Who got a bad matchup coming up when they get out they buy? I'm going to have to give it to the New Orleans Saints. They oh, might shit. end up, it's a very good chance if my Dallas Cowboys handled their business against Seattle. It's a big so, if. Anyway, oh. the New Orleans Saints will have to face the Dallas Cowboys. Like I said previously, the Dallas Cowboys are the Saints' kryptonite. We have the formula to beat them. Mm -hmm. Hit them for four quarters yeah. and lock Michael Thomas up. Get physical with Michael Thomas. He will be crying for a flag all game. Watch I'm telling game. you. That formula is working. I don't know if y'all noticed, but after the Saints lost to the Cowboys, did they look that dominant That anymore? offense looked like Sean Payton wasn't even the coach no more. Y'all struggle with Tampa I Bay. I all that, man. Hey, y'all barely beat Tampa Bay with Jameis Winston playing. He's playing for his career, and y'all, like, almost saved it for him. One, though, 13 Y'all Y'all almost saved Jameis' career, son. But all I'm saying is my Dallas Cowboys are very scary, not to say, you know, we aren't like no dark horse, but still, I think personally, the only team that can beat the Saints in this year playoffs is the Dallas Cowboys. With that defense and a quarterback who was poised enough to handle business. Yeah, we'll see about That's that. A real I'm going to end it at that, man. BG Cam coming to you. The next team that I see got a bad matchup coming is whoever draws a stick of playing the Chargers. Because the Chargers are a more complete team mm -hmm. than both the Patriots and the Chiefs. They got yeah. offense and defense. The Patriots offense, Bronk is not himself. He's they just him. lost Josh Gordon. Sony Michelle has really been such a blessing to them. Because if they didn't have Sony Michelle, this shit would really be dead oh, yeah, for them. Over with. The yeah. defense is manageable with Belichick running it, but they're not the Patriots of old. Everybody knows that. They shouldn't even snuck into the two seed the way they did. The Chiefs, we already know what happened last time they played the Chargers. They took the L. Fat the L. Chiefs have no defense. Everybody knows that. Holmes got to score literally 35 plus in order for them to win. It's not going to be going like that in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Top talent. Exactly. You know how that shit's going to be. Slow down. So Different shit. season. If you draw that short stick of having to play the Chargers, good luck, but I don't see you going forward to the AFC Championship. That's just how I see it going. They got to give Phillip Rivers a shit, bro. So basically, what? They got to put them on par with Eli and Roethlisberger. You got two other teams. Basically, both of them are. Just, they both hey, on alert. Yeah, it's whoever tried that short stick. You right on that, though. Hey, Whoever draws a short stick to go do the bullshit for crew, you just lost. The second time yeah. that they lost to the Chargers, the Chiefs yeah. did, yeah. Melvin Gordon didn't even play. Melvin Gordon didn't even play, nigga. So, shit. Over here. Mm -hmm. so shit. Don't let him get going. Shit He's on to something ugly. with that one, boy. You, yeah, you on a little something. For sure. Yeah. Big potato. But I ain't worried about Who that. I do want to address my Saints, because I don't yeah, even talk about to. them too much. You do need to. And this big MF Reefy. I love really think, Reefy. hey, I love really it. think that the Cowboys is the Saints kryptonite. That's not the Saints kryptonite, cause they can handle them. The Saints kryptonite didn't look relies like. in one team. It's the only team that I personally don't want them to see: the Chicago Bears. The Bears. That defense is a generational defense. Lights up. This is a different level of competition. They could easily, I ain't even gonna cap, easily stop the Saints offense. All you have to do. You take Kyle Fuller, time for first interceptions with seven at the cornerbacks. You take Eddie Jackson at the safety, who had four interceptions, and put them over the top of Michael Thomas. Now you've eliminated him. And we already know how the linebacking core come in. Roquan Smith, Khalil Mack, Big dogs gotta eat. Danny Trevathan, Big dogs gotta Lennon eat. Floyd, they all sticking yeah. and covering Alvin Kamara for the most part, bro. Yeah. So once you take out those two players, the Saints offense is damn near anemic and ass. Kind of I ain't even gonna cap. Because teams usually have to pick one. It's like, we're going to take out either Kamar or Thomas. Can't take out both. Yeah, they got the personnel to cover both. Okay, once I you take out both, that's it. It will literally fall on the Saints defense. Have to get us a pick six to win the game. Yeah. Yeah. And that's iffy. If Trubisky and that Bears offense can score 24 points. Money. That's it. Mitch. 24 <laughs> points, my nigga. That's all you need to win. Bears will hold the Saints to 21. I ain't going to sit here and lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the biggest problem right there we got. Yeah. And Matt Nagy is a hell of an offensive mm -hmm. genius. Hell of a head coach. 12 wins first season? That nigga's a problem as a coach. And Sean Payton get caught up in his own head sometimes. At times. And now Matt Nagy gonna come. He got the guts to do whatever. 
it yeah. takes to win. He ain't fucking around. That's how you got to be, man. I'd if you're trying to win a Super Bowl, that's mm -hmm. how you got to be. If you're trying to win a Super Bowl, brother. you need a great defense, and the Bears got it. Yeah. They showing that you don't need the quarterback to win in the NFL because mm -hmm. Trubisky's on a rookie deal. And he's had some great games. Mm, right. I think he's decent, but you know, he's he not. Top dude. Yeah, he's in the top tier quarterback. He ain't exactly top ten. He's player. in the playoffs, no, no, just no. like a lot of other non top tier quarterbacks this year. Yeah. We need never, to see what the fuck thought, going on. I never thought I would have to come to the to defend the Saints. Mm. I hate to do it, but the only problem I got there is the road comes through New Orleans, and that stadium is going to have Mitch, that second year player. He's good. I, yeah, I, feel I, like I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That defense hey. plays their best at home. That's all I'm All I know that, is that Sun defense is plays down, their best at home. Freezing cold. That's when you already know. Chicago Bears, nigga, <laughs> it's time to take over. Yeah. That defense is sicko mode. They yeah, are the definition right. of sicko mode. Niggas is a problem, bro. They got to worry about Big Philly problem. and then rounds first. And, and then Ain't no worry about no damn about Philly. Go ahead. We'll see how shit go. We'll see how shit go. Mm -hmm. see. I like how, I you like how you're thinking, though. Yeah, my yeah. boy Mitch. <laughs> Money Mitch. Because he's another dude yeah. on a rookie deal. Got his team in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And they're poised to make a run. Because mm -hmm. they got defense and they got a run game. Cohen and, and some Jordan very Howard. good fucking offensive play calling. Really? It's, it's starting to look like, why are teams overpaying all these quarterbacks and then they don't even make the playoffs? Pass. When was the last time Matt Stafford was in the playoffs? It's probably like three, four years ago. Matt Ryan didn't make the playoffs this year. A-Rod didn't make the playoffs. I mean, Garoppolo Cousins, made. Kirk Cousins has five wins against team with a winning record in his fucking career, bro. Yeah, and he has That's 84 terrible. mil guaranteed. All his money was guaranteed. So, really, it's looking like all these teams keep making the same mistake overpaying their quarterbacks. Facts, because look at this. Yeah. Deshaun Watson, rookie deal. Rookie deal. Jared Goff, rookie deal. Rookie deal. Trubisky, rookie deal. Dak Prescott. Rookie deal. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Don't leave my Majority of Lamar yeah. Jackson, rookie, rookie deal. Rookie deal. Majority of the quarterbacks in the playoffs is on their rookie deal. Or, or the extension really hasn't even kicked in yet to fuck yeah. up the team. Because yeah. Russell Wilson ain't too deep in his, mm -hmm. where his contract just jumped. But when his team was going to the Super Bowl, rookie deal. Rookie deal. deal. So it's kind of like, how are you going to build your team? Teams really need to start realizing if you bolster your defense enough mm -hmm. and you draft the right rookie quarterback and have the right offensive coordinator, you just gotta then draft shit well. can go. Yeah. It's all in the draft, man, because you got that small amount of time, like a three-year window, championship caliber Facts. team, Super Bowl that, that window. caliber team. Should you really continue signing all these people? Granted, Garoppolo got hurt, so we're going to give we, them we a slight pass. pass. They still won four games. They get an them. asterisk. They might have won eight or nine. They might have been there. Who knows? Garoppolo can ball. Mm -hmm. But teams kind of be overpaying these dudes and it's like shit because look at this the mvp patrick exactly. mahomes you ain't gotta Broad overpay shit. it but we all know they can't win because the defense yeah. isn't there you can't put too much money into them if you pay any quarterback over like really like 27 mil and mm -hmm. 27 mil is a fucking lot of money i know how the market is if you pay them over 27 mil you're gonna start restricting who you can sign elsewhere and then that's just gonna put that much more pressure on your draft picks mm -hmm. they have to hit to fucking hit if they don't hit your team is just gonna be stuck in the mud they have to hit they gotta figure out about that's just where i go if there's any sport that the draft matters in the NFL. It's really every yeah. sport. But it's, oh, no. NFL. Let me well, break it down real, you have real to, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the NFL because you have seven rounds to acquire talent. Basketball, mm -hmm. you got two rounds. Like people say, it's very short. Very mm -hmm. short chances you get drafted. But they undrafted players still come out. But I'm saying yeah. in the NFL, y'all bought up Dak Prescott. He was a fourth round pick. You don't yeah. find franchise quarterbacks but in the really? fourth round. I can only think about Tom Brady as and well Russell Wilson. later than fourth round. And Russ, yeah. Russell Wilson, the all these quarterbacks. I mean, I can't really think. I'm sorry to... But, but was Patrick Mahomes the first quarterback? Nope. Selected? No, Damn. Damn. Trubisky was. Damn. Trubisky was. Damn. Damn. Oh, shit. Well, Actually, though, that whole class just made it. Yeah, that whole Trubisky, class yeah, Watson, and Mahomes. Like, they raw. That's crazy. But, but their yeah, teams like are also solid around them. Both of, they all have formidable defenses that the team playing them, they'll be lucky if they score over, like, 21, mm -hmm. 24 type shit. So, you got just to say, well. these quarterbacks need to maybe not be the highest paid. They can, they can be the highest paid. But there has to be a limit on that shit. Even if the market says you can get paid this much, they don't need to take all the money. Because Tom Brady, last time he was the highest paid quarterback in the league was 2011. Jesus. Long ass time ago. And he don't want two Super Bowls since then. So mm -hmm. I'm going to end my case right there. Who are y'all really ready to see snap? Fuck a team. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about one dude that you know. Like, he's got that clutch gene. If his team needs it, if they need it early, late, whenever, he's going to make plays for his team in the playoffs every game. I'm going to cut you off. It's Tom. Dak Prescott, put this team on your back and take us to the promised land. It's, time. it's him. It's yeah. Dakota Rain Prescott. Okay. If you follow motherfucking Reefy on Twitter, yeah. you will see me tweet that yeah. at least twice a game. Because every time, times, really. I'm telling y'all, every game, if you watch the Cowboys, Dak Prescott does something that just makes you look like, 
He's clutch. Mm-hmm. He is it. That it guy. And he I'm got telling some, y'all. He, shows he has that it guy. Who has the most? He five. Who has the most comeback win since entering the league in 2016? Dakota Rain Prescott. Mm-hmm. It's time, Dakota. Show the world. What did we just talk about? Prove it's me wrong. Time. Playoff time is when you make the big name for yourself. Yep. Duh, Dak Prescott name. He's the Dallas Cowboys yeah. quarterback. It's time for Dak to be up there with the greats. Go past Romo. He's going up there. Mm-hmm. He probably already passed Romo, but so. he's, going so. he's going up there. He's going up there. And I'm telling y'all, watch out for Dak Prescott. He is going to excite everybody this year playoffs. And I can't say Dak name without mentioning Zeke because Zeke is going to help out too. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Finish that. I'm sorry. Okay, I yeah. do that. Ahead, I want to go ahead. Zeke. I honestly want to continue on the Cowboys because no cap. If the Saints was in the playoffs, I'd be fucking with the Cowboys heavy this year. Because mm-hmm. I, I do like that. a lot of their team. I ain't going to mm-hmm. lie. I can't really hone in on one player because there's two mm-hmm. on offense that I got to highlight. Mm-hmm. I'm Thank you for highlighting Dak because I do think people disrespect mm-hmm. him. Yeah. But the two I got to highlight is like the band of brothers with him. The other two superstars. Mm-hmm. And that's Amari Cooper yeah. and Ezekiel Elliott. Because okay. let me start off. Ezekiel Elliott gets disrespected like fuck. It's crazy that a guy who in two out of three seasons has led the league in rushing and real shit can't get suspended for them six games when he was averaging, I think it was five yards per carry in his second season, probably would have led the league again. That would have been three years in a row you led the league in rushing. Nigga, you was a top three running back. Top two and he's not two. My opinion is mm. the best running back in the league. Because people he's gotta stop true. disrespecting him. He's, he's looking like the top running back. He's consistent. consistent. You know what you're gonna get out of Zeke. You know you what you're gonna get. You know what you're gonna get. But I know in the playoffs, because I saw him do it at Ohio State against Bama, one of the best Bama defenses ever, he's gonna be poised to go for 150 one yeah. week in the playoffs. Yeah. But ready to put the team on his back. <laughs> Feed me, nigga. Feed me. I'm, I'm ready, ready to eat. And when Jack, when Jack can't go and he's struggling, you know who he's going to turn to? Amari Cooper, the guy that traded a first-round pick for. Thank he you, got Gordon. a lot of shit to prove. Yeah. Niggas yeah. is trying him. They said, oh, you walk. You can't catch. You ain't shit, nigga. Well, go ahead, Amari. Prove to them that you an elite receiver in this game. Yeah. Go ahead and get you your 120. Get that get money, that baby. Money. Get that money, Get cool. paid. Be Dak's safety blanket. This is the new triplet for the Cowboys. We had Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, and Michael Irvin. This the reincarnation Name right real here. quick. We got Dak Prescott, uh-huh. Ezekiel Elliott, and Amari Cooper. Remember them Come names. On, bro. Let's go, this baby. This is Who you hell. Got, sir? Like and they right. ready to go. They ready, baby. TTG, trying to go, son. Finish the train, bro. Who you got? I really like that perspective, bro. Just put it in them triplets. That, that, that's the key in the NFL for your offense is yep. having them triplets. Exactly. QB. Running back receiver. Mm-hmm. So I, li- I like that. And that really might be a thing if they can retain all them boys for a long time. Y'all showing our offense some love. So y'all know me. I play defense and shit. I got to okay. show, show the defense some love. This nigga is really what Sean Taylor was going to be. Ooh. Man, he plays on that fucking ferocious yeah. ass defense. The Bears. For oh. the Bears. He got it. Eddie Jackson. Yeah. Built by Bama. Let's go. What is y'all talking about, man? Y'all see all them fucking pick sixes? Mm. Bumble returns for six, Ooh. huh? Yeah, I, bro. When they this him man, too, he's, it. he's literally built like Sean Taylor. Tell me he don't be out there playing like this man, Stinking dog. Stinking niggas. Yo, Eddie Jackson. It kind of goes without saying he built by Bama. That really tells you the story, but he's out here doing that shit in the league. I mean, obviously people Our do not live up to yeah. the hype. He's overdoing the hype of what he did in the fucking college, yo. He's the next Ed Reed, bro. People yeah. keep comparing him to Ed Reed. I'm comparing him to Sean Taylor because of the size. That defense is raw. Mm-hmm. When you have defenses that can blitz like that, can get to the quarterback like that, that's how DB start. Mm-hmm. And they start getting picks when the DB ball's thrown rushing. a second early and shit like that. Partially why he probably got the fucking picks that he do for turn for sixes that he do. But Eddie Jackson is a fucking dog. He's built by Bama. So he, he was basically a pro when he was still a junior at fucking Alabama, Max. bro. I really don't have nothing more to say about it, but I promise you, you're going to see hella open field tackles by this man. You're going to see the big hits. You're going to see some picks. A probably late in too. the game. Yep, yep. Right. When it's time to fucking win, that nigga is going to make the play and step oh, up. So, really? I'm extremely excited. That's my dog, man. I got to give me a jersey by next year, bro. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Chicago fan. Money making Mitch, you already know how we go. Eddie Jackson, I'm going to get your jersey soon, B. God, I got to give you credit. Eddie yeah. is that guy. Facts, he's, he's a dog. Answer. He's, he's a dog. Guy. Hey, I couldn't choose him, but you know, I, I'm definitely excited to see my boys. Yeah, I'm Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, you know Ooh, who yeah. I'm rocking with. Yeah, and yeah. always Kamara. It's year two in the no playoffs. AK? 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 AK41. Amen. 
man. Y'all don't heard what the boys had to say, oh, man. Yeah. Go ahead, let us know what y'all think in the comments. Yeah. If you didn't yeah. like it at the beginning, yeah. let us know that you liked it now. Shit, we gonna come back to you. You know, we Sir. tuned in all playoff. Teed up, man. Yeah! yeah. Turn up! Yo. How's y'all time out, man?